Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Algebra expressions, like you see here, are called polynomials. And the first thing we need to talk about when we're looking at polynomials is terms. This one has three terms because I have a 2x term, a negative 3x squared term, and an 8 term. Therefore, it's called a trinomial. Tri means three. Now the idea is to put this in standard form, which means I have to look at the exponents of the variable parts and put it in order, the highest exponent first. So if I put this polynomial in standard form, the negative 3x squared would come first, and then the 2x, because the x is really to the first power, and then the 8. The number that's all by itself, that's at the end in standard form, is called a constant. The degree of the polynomial is based on the highest exponent of every term. In this case, it's a second power, and so it is a second degree polynomial. All right, try these. For each of these polynomials you see here, rewrite them in standard form and tell me what degree they are. Go ahead and hit pause on this video and give it a video and give it this first polynomial has four terms. We have a negative 3x squared term, an x to the fourth term, a negative 3x to the third term, and a negative 8. That's a four-term polynomial. Now I look at the powers, and I notice there's a second power, a fourth power, a third power, and no power or even an x term at all. So I want to put those in order. x to the fourth would come first minus 3x to the third would come next, minus 3x squared would be next, and the negative 8 at the end. What is the degree? This is a fourth degree polynomial because of the exponent on the highest exponent. On the right, what is the highest power? Yes, x to the fourth. So that term would come first, negative 5x to the fourth, and then what's next? The 2x to the third, and then the 2x, and then the 3. Remember that the 3 here is a constant. The negative 8 here is a constant in the first polynomial. This is also a fourth degree polynomial. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.